painting friends my name is Brie welcome to my channel if you are new here welcome if you are returning welcome back this is my face um, I don't usually show my face so I feel a little awkward um, my camera is a little shaky too because I am holding it and I'm not used to doing that I apologize for the lawnmower in the background. The wife is mowing before we leave for our family vacation. Um, and so it's just gonna be in the background. Um, but I thought I would do an update on my craft cart tour because it does not look like the original video anymore. It is quite different and the way that it is now is actually working quite nicely for me now that I diamond paint in my craft room. Um, if I don't look at the camera, it's because I'm looking off to the side. <laughs> um, I'm going to try to look at the camera as much as possible. This is very awkward for me as it, I could imagine it is for most people that are not used to talking to a camera. Um, so yeah, I thought I would come on here, show my face so that you can put a face to a name and a voice. So this is me, um, Bree. There is my cat Tonks in the background. <laughs> you can kind of see her. And then um, all the dogs are in the living room right now, taking a little snooze. Um, one day I will give a tour of my craft room. Right now it's kind of in shambles and I want to um, organize my diamond paintings and right now they're just not organized very well and it's not working for me but I don't have an idea of how to do it yet. But let's get into the craft cart tour. All right, see you in a minute. All right, so here is the top. Um, I'm going to do kind of like an overview first. I have the large craft cart from Michaels. It's still the same cart as the last one. Um, that is, it's still the same size, but it's just set up differently now because I use, I'm in my craft room where I diamond paint, not in the living room or the dining room anymore. So it's just set up a little bit differently and it's working really well. So let's start at the top. Um, and you will notice I have quite a few kits kitted up because I am a serial starter. I guess a serial kitter upper. <laughs> um, so in this section right here, you will notice that, um, let's start from the front, I guess, or from the back. Let's start in the front. Um, so you'll notice I have quite a few different trays here, but I tend to use the same one tray all the time. Um, so I have Muni made trays. I have this white one. This is usually my go-to. And then I have, oops, I just dropped the stopper. That happens quite often, to be honest. <laughs> Um, and then my most recent from Unime is the clear tray. I really wanted a clear one. Um, I just really preferred the white just because I like to see all the colors and I can see them very easily on here. Don't get me wrong, all of the colors that she has available are beautiful and I do have a few other ones and I really love them and I'll use those sometimes as well but I always go to the white tray and now I'm using the clear tray um, and then we'll get to this in a second and then this is the butterfly resin gems this is a tray made out of resin um, it is from Alyssa she is based in Canada I'm not sure if her shop is open right now she just had surgery but it's very possible i saw her posting she's supposed to be resting so Alyssa, if you're watching this i'm not sure if you're open or not but we'll see um she makes beautiful trays oops um but she also does custom 
trays too, the, and you can do just about anything that you request, but they line up perfectly. Um, I, I have to run a dryer sheet over this because I did get a lot of static from it, but that is no big deal. I just need to run a dryer sheet, but um, if I just don't have any dryer sheets right now because we use those like um, dryer wool balls or whatever and there we don't usually use dryer sheets but I need to get some before I can continue using this but I do like the size okay and then in the second little bin thing that I have here is all my like pink wax that you'll notice from um, Diamond Art Club and then my glue dots I this is like my go-to I can Continuously always use this in my single placer and then I will use the pink wax in my multi placer it's just I don't know just what it what works for me and then um, putty I do have some waxes from some different companies but I tend to not use it because I feel like the residue just sticks to my drills too much and it annoys me so I really have given up on um, small shop Nothing against the small shop waxes. I just have given up on using them on multi-placing because I don't like the excess getting stuck to my drills. And I don't have that problem with putty or the pink wax. Um, speaking of putty, which is what I have up here, which it, I have from Randa's Crafty Corner, I have four different scents. Um, this is not a review of the different stuff, it's just the putty, so I'm not going to go into everything that I have currently. Um, more trays. I do have these. They're from Ellie's Crafty something or other. I would like them if they had spouts on them. I don't use them. They're just sitting here, to be honest. And then I have this for Confetti Heavy. I got this on um, Amazon and then there's more mini made and then there's a crystals crystals tray okay and then in the middle here I have um, see it might zoomed in or something it seems very close um, and then I have these little organizers here I have all for love um, kitted up in this. I have not started it yet, but I'm thinking about taking it on our vacation with us because it's a small snack size type and I can use it for the June Pride um, DP along or event that's going on this month. And then in this container back here, I have my scissors, my X-Acto knife, a slice tool, black tweezers, pink tweezers, <laughs> And then over here is kind of like a mixture of random mishmash stuff. I have a random toothbrush to get residue off the drills, um, tweezers that have drills stuck to it, random trash drills that I just dump in this jar, um, a pretty placer that sometimes I use, sometimes I don't, a straightener, a large Muni May tray, another white tray that's back there. Um, I use the large Muni May tray for like large like if I have a large color blocking or if there's a lot of black or whatever. So um, this is for the P clock that I'm still working on. It's just like not something that I'm super into. So I just have it right here and I'll do it once in a while. And then some random like stickers. Um, extra multi-placers, like metal multi-placers the part for the peak clock and then I have another container this has my pens in it so these are all my butterfly effect wares with the exception of one Jim's handmade pen and then this one is a diamond art club with a diamond art club uh, metal tip but all of the rest are butterfly effect wares, which are my favorite. Um, they're all mini. So I have regular mini, 
Mega Mini, regular Mini, regular Mini, Mega Mini. And then a pair of tweezers. And that's the first shelf. And then the cover minders that come in the Diamond Art Club, I just kind of stick them up there. And then the butterfly stickers are from uh, Butterfly Effect Wears my orders. Second, this is where it's going to go a little bit quicker because there's not as much stuff. Um, the second shelf here are just organizers and stuff that I have already kitted up or an empty organizer. So here are the Harbor Freight organizers that's just empty right now. And then I have um, Night Kitsune kitted up in this one, which is a whip in progress right now. And then I have um, Gator Swamp kitted up in this one. And then, oops, not in frame. And then I have in here, um, I have kitted up, this is the mini container. There's 30 slots in this one. I have the newer budget kit, the flower like crystal thing. I'm gonna take that with me on our vacation as well. Um, and then these are the, oh, this pink, cord is just my phone my phone charger I just have it um, on this really strong magnet it's an ollie clip and I just have it hanging there so that it doesn't fall behind my desk um, so that's easier for me to grab it's basically out of convenience to be honest and then on this I got this idea from Laura um, diamond paintings with Laura diamond painting with Laura um, for her special drills. I don't have nearly as many as Laura, but I'm just beginning. I showed that I purchased special drills and I put them in these baggies and then I just put them on a binder ring and I put them on an alley clip and I just kind of hang them right there. And then on the very bottom shelf, I have more storage containers. There's um, one of these is empty, I think. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Possibly kitted up more stuff down there. And then I have canned air. Oh gosh, sorry if I got really close to the microphone. Um, canned air spray adhesive. And then these are, um, budget diamond paintings that I found at the Amazon resale store for like a dollar each. Um, they were kind of cute and I just have them down there in this little bin and then my roller so that is my updated um, Diamond painting cart and it has been working really well. I really love how everything is set up everything is right there and then um, Yeah, and then just a really quick glimpse i guess this is where i diamond paint it's kind of a mess right now i mean not a total mess i've seen way worse desks but i have um i have a fan because i get hot sometimes <laughs> and then i have like my release papers in there and just like random little whatever is in there and then my storage containers up there and i have more storage containers up there my kits and then I have like my LED light and I have my computer there and I'll watch either YouTube or Netflix and then I just have like some pens out right now so yeah that is that oh I guess I can show my drawers um, they're not organized at all um, so these are the rest of the baggies on another ring um, and then the Diamond Art Club drills are on here. And then these are my extra drills um, for the ones that didn't fit in the containers. So Sunset Beach, um, I just have them put in baggies and I put them in here. And then there's the rest of the Sunset Beach that didn't fit in there. 
there's leftover drills. I don't think I'm going to continue using this. I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. Um, and then all of this stuff. I feel bad if I throw it out. I don't know if there's a use for it or donating it or something, but I, I'll figure it out when I come back from vacation. Um, and then down here I have three Elizabeth Ward storage containers. I don't like them, so I think I'm going to try to find um, a way to either sell them or get rid of them some way, somehow, and then just random crap. <laughs> yeah, so tell me what you think. Um, this is my new way of having my cart and where I done paint. So I did not mean to cut off that video so abruptly, but I would love to hear how you store all of your diamond painting goodies. Do you use a cart? Let me know down in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, I would appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. I would love to get to know you and I will see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye. Oh, <laughs>